it's a medi clay. Um, I haven't heard anyone pronounce it right yet and the reason for that is that there's a word in the actual product that is quite a tongue twister. I can't even say tongue twister right. But it's a pure high calcium Montmorillonite clay. Now I probably haven't said it right but it doesn't matter. Read it, have a look on, on a picture on the internet and uh, you'll be able to work it out for yourself but it's worth a giggle anyway. Okay. Now what this does when you put it into your water, it helps clarify the water. It also, when you've put loads of chemical through your filter and your fish are on the recovery, it will help a fish rebuild its skin um, and it enhances the skin quality in the fish, which we all know is quite important. So not only are we looking after our water, we're then also looking at the health of what it is that we do with our fish. Uh, but on top of that, as it, if it's actually mixed through the water and it starts to go through its process, it will actually uh, like grip hold of uh, any crap that you find in the water um, that would normally um, help with the build up of bacteria, bad bacteria that we don't like, which is the sort that likes to latch onto us fish um, and then start cre creating a lot of like poorly, poorly fish um, and generally cause ill health. But if you to follow like a weekly dosage program like I do, um, it really does help the not only the fish but the water and it gives you so much more benefits than what it is without it being added to the to the pond and I quite often get asked by other people um, how effective it is and whether or not it's worth actually doing um, and without a shadow of doubt I would say yes to everything every single time because it's not really a chemical and it's completely beneficial unlike the chemicals that we use in order to treat fish for ill health. Now it's important that you don't use this product 48 hours prior or 48 hours after any treatment or additive in the pond that you used in order to combat any sort of nasties that we've either got in the, in, on the fish or in the water. Uh, two different types of doses that we can use. Um, one is a general dose which is 100 grams uh, per 1,000 gallons or 4,500 litres um, which is just a weekly additive every single week um, just to give you all the benefits that I explained earlier. The second one is a 200 gram dosage and this is recommended um, for again 1,000 gallons or 4,500 litres but it's recommended after any treatment that you've put into the pond remember 48 hours after any treatment um, and it helps um, recover of an ill fish, recovery of an ill fish, and also to repair any body damage. Uh, like I said earlier, it helps with um, the build-up of or enhances skin quality. So, you know, with a with a weekly dosage and something that's very easy to add into the water, you'd be you'd be a bit nuts actually not to use it in my opinion. So, what I'm going to do now is just going to show you. Um, how we mix this up. So the Mediclay comes in a nice sealable bag. As you can see, you open it up, he says. Okay, like the nice bags of chocolate that you're just supposed to share that you never reseal because you always eat them. However, with this, simply open it up, and inside we've got a nice powder material. I've got a nice spoon with mine, but this is a special bag and only ex-soldiers get the silver spoon treatment. So unless you're an ex-soldier, you ain't gonna get this. Okay, now, a lot of people will know what this is, or what it looks like, but it's not the sort that makes your eyes turn a bit red and you go a bit loopy and think that everything's brilliant. Okay, this is brilliant for the fish though. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna mix this bad lad up in water after making a 100 gram dose which is for up to, or should I say, 4,500 litres. Okay, so, get yourself a nice little tub, right? Don't matter what sort, as long as you can get a decent copious amount of the mixture into it. Make sure you put it on a nice digital scale, and you zero the tub on the actual scales, right? I can't believe I'm actually showing people how to do this bit. Right, but, I'm just going to whack in a decent amount. Normally two of these, thereabouts, will be 100 grams. There you go, 101 grams, 98. Make sure you get your dosage bang on. It's good practice. 
to make sure that you've got the right amount. There we go. That's a good one. I always put my silver spoon back in my bag so I know next time to use it then. Okay, then all we're going to simply do is going to take the mixture towards the pond where I've already got a bucket of pond water waiting. And then all we're simply going to do is with a mixture dump it in like that. Then with a nice whisk, like this empty one I've nicked from the missus' kitchen because she'd beat me with a wooden spoon that normally sits in there. So this is one I purposely built, or bought, sorry, for mixing the, the solution. Give it a good burn around like that. Now, what you will find that it all starts to con congregate on the side and you will find that it does the same in the bottom. Don't worry about it too much because over time it will actually uh, dissolve in the water anyway. So you'll see it's nice creamy, um, a nice creamy solution and then all I'm simply going to do is then chuck that into the water. So nice even spread across the whole of the, the pond like so. and then just let it do its magic. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the filming in a, in a second and then I'm going to come back to that once it's actually uh, gone round with the water, the flow of the water. So you'll see that the spread and the, and the uh, colour that your water goes. So now you'll see, I think about three, three or four minutes has passed, you'll see there that um, you've got the little water pigs uh, floating around and actually it's quite similar to when those of you that are bothered to watch the uh, videos of the mud ponds in, in Japan and you see the nice aerial shots where you see the orange glows uh, in the ponds. It's very similar to that sort of thing. So it's exactly where this uh, clay um, is also a replica of what you tend to find out in Japan and what you see in those ponds itself. So it's, it's a good additive to have in your water. And what I'm going to do now, um, I'm actually going to um, put a little bit of food in and then you can see uh, that the fish has still got their appetites. Well, let's see if the water pigs want to eat. They say they don't work with animals. Normally they'd be biting the hand off. Here they come. Okay, Learnex Pro, everyone's using it in a minute, I've just come off it. Um, I've noticed on other people's uh, videos and also questions that have been floating around on some of the uh, forums on uh, social media that people are making comments that millilitres should be used as a measurement as it states on the box, which it clearly does. Okay, so. With regards to the dosage of this stuff, one millilitre per 20 litres of pond water is 50 mils per 1,000 litres, which is quite easy to, to measure out because it does come with a 15 millilitre measuring, um, they call it a jug, but it's more like a spoon or a spatula. So, however, you can actually weigh it out. One millilitres of uh, Learnex Pro or one millilitre of anything actually is equivalent to one gram. So you convert one millilitre to one gram, so you can actually still weigh it out. So those people 
that make those remarks that actually you're supposed to measure it in 15 millilitres, etc. Ah, you can actually measure it out on weighing scales because one millilitre equals one gram. So every day's a school day.